Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and the latest release of Zorin OS, that is Zorin 15.3, was released few weeks back. Zorin is among the popular Linux distro that is known for its stable desktop experience. And due to its Windows-like interface, it is also considered one of the best alternative to Windows OS. The distro is based on Ubuntu LTS release and the latest version of Zorin is based on Ubuntu 18.4.5 LTS. Zorin OS comes with two major desktop variants, Zorin Core which is their primary distro with GNOME desktop and there is also a lightweight XFCE variant called Zorin Lite. Now, Zorin Lite is a recent addition to Zorin family and is made for system with legacy hardware. So in this video we will take a look at the latest release of Zorin OS and also look at both edition of Zorin OS, compare them and discuss their features so that you can decide which one is best for you. Alright, so let's begin today's video. Alright, so before I start with the review, I just want to quickly tell you about IP Vanish. Now, it's a top rated VPN service which not only keeps you safe while you surf the internet by encrypting your network traffic, but it also allows you to visit websites blocked by your government, letting you bypass censorship. The other benefit of using VPN is that you get access to shows, movies, live sports from around the world by connecting to the server of that country. With IP Vanish, you can connect to internet from 75 plus location around the world. There's no limit on bandwidth or the number of devices that you can connect simultaneously. I have been using it from past three months and I am very satisfied with their service. There's no throttling of speed or interruption of network. Everything works very smooth. The regular price of IP Vanish is around $11 a month month but right now for a limited time they have their prime day sale running and you can get ip vanish subscription at just three dollars and 25 cents which is a steal price for the service and the features that you're getting so if you're looking to get a world-class vpn service this is the right time to buy get ip vanish today by clicking on the link in the description below all right now let's get to the video zorinos.com is the official website of zorin project and just looking at the design of the website i have to say it's a pretty well-made website looks very modern and in my view it's among the best looking website that I've seen for a Linux project. The download page gives you the download links for various Zorin editions. Ultimate is their paid version which comes at a cost of $39 and offers full installation support along with few additional desktop layouts that we'll see later in this video. Core is the free version and then there's the Lite version which comes with XFCE desktop. We are going to check out both Core and the Lite editions in detail and later I'll also show you three additional desktop layouts that comes with Zorin OS Ultimate. Now the installation image size of both Zorin Core and Zorin Lite is around 2.2 gigs. The installation process is exactly same for both the versions. You have the same Ubuntu's Ubiquiti installer with standard installation options. The complete installation takes less than 10 minutes depending upon the hardware. Alright, now let's take a look at the core version of Zorin OS first. So this is the desktop of Zorin Core. It's a modern looking desktop with Windows like interface. It's actually the same desktop that was released last year with the release of Zorin 15. There's no cosmetic changes in this new point release, not even a new wallpaper. In fact, if you go through the release page of Zorin 15.3, it's a very low key release. There's no major addition to the OS apart from software updates and some stability improvements. The only big update is the kernel that has been updated to Linux kernel 5.4. Now as far as the desktop is considered, you will find many Linux distro with similar desktop design. But what makes Zorin OS special is its Zorin Appearance app. If you are new to Zorin OS, Zorin Appearance is a desktop tweaking app that lets you quickly customize desktop settings like desktop layout, accent color, toggle between dark mode and light mode, change the desktop icons. There are three desktop layouts available in Zorin Core, that is Windows XP, Windows 7 and the touchscreen layout. But the paid version, Zorin Ultimate, gives you three additional desktop layout. We'll get to the additional layouts a little later. This desktop is GNOME 3.30, but it is not the latest version of GNOME desktop. The latest version is 3.38. And here is the first limitation of Zorin OS. As it uses Ubuntu 18.4 LTS as its base, the softwares are not of the latest version. Zorin gives higher priority to stability and this is a trade-off for getting a stable desktop. If you are someone who wants the latest bleeding edge softwares, then you might want to check out some other Linux distro. 
and therefore all the new features that comes in the latest version of GNOME like fractional scaling, improved system menu, etc. are not available in Zorin 15.3. But one good news here is that Zorin supports Flatpak packages by default and comes pre-installed. So you have access to 900 plus software packages which gets updated directly from upstream. Alright now as far as the availability of softwares is considered, Zorin OS gives you a decent list of pre-installed apps. The default browser is Firefox. There is a complete LibreOffice suite available which has been updated to version 6.4. You have standard GNOME apps for audio and video playback. Overall all the essential apps are available to get you started. If you are looking for a specific app not installed by default, you can install it using the software app. Zorin OS uses its own repo that contains Zorin specific app and also uses Ubuntu LTS repo. Alright now let's check out the desktop of Zorin Lite. Now Zorin Lite is available for both 64-bit and 32-bit machines. It is made for systems with low hardware configuration or legacy hardware. The desktop appearance is pretty much the same as Zorin Core. But this is XFCE version 4.4 which has been customized to give it Zorin core like look. But it's not just about the looks in terms of pre-installed softwares also. They get the same set of softwares. So you get apps like Firefox, LibreOffice Suite, Zorin Appearance, pre-installed. The only difference is in the system apps which instead of GNOME, here you have XFCE suite of apps. So the media player image viewer is different. But as I said Zorin appearance app remains the same. But here you have only two desktop layouts. The touch layout is not available. The XFCE settings app gives you a lot more customization options than GNOME. So settings app of XFCE is much more populated with all the customization options. However XFCE also does not support fractional scaling. There's only two options for scaling. 1x is the normal scale and 2x is double the scale. Now the overall experience of using Zorin Core and Zorin Lite is pretty much the same. Zorin Core gives you a little modern desktop feel with translucency feature for taskbar and menu items. But Zorin Lite gives you a much better system performance. The desktop is very quick and responsive in case of Zorin Lite. On my test machine, the idle RAM usage that I was getting was around 1.4 gigs for Zorin Core and around 900 MB to 1 gigs for Zorin Lite, which is a pretty significant difference. So in terms of performance, Zorin Lite is a clear winner. Alright, now let's look at the three additional desktop layouts that comes with Zorin Ultimate. First, you have the standard GNOME shell layout. Then there's Ubuntu layout with its trademark left sidebar. And then there's a Mac style layout with top bar and dock at the bottom. Alright now the last thing that I want to talk about is the support available. Zorin is a well established Linux distro which has been there in the business for over 10 years now. So you have pretty good online support. The website have dedicated help section which provides detailed guides on OS installation, driver updates and other major issues that you might encounter. Zorin has also recently started its own forum where you can post your specific issue to get help from the community which is very helpful. And since it's based on Ubuntu Linux, you can also refer to help materials or guides from Ubuntu website as well. Alright, so that was all for today. I hope this video was helpful for you. And now you can decide which edition of Zorin is best for you. Zorin is a no-nonsense, simple and stable Linux distro which comes with long-term support. So if stability is your number one priority, you can definitely go with Zorin OS. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, you can type that in in the comment section. A huge shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.